there's the adage, you know, too many cooks spoil the soup, but I don't think that that's true for Hopkins. He's not going to get overwhelmed with too much information. In Bernard Hopkins' Pasadena camp, there's not one, but four men working with the fighter. Joining conditioning coach Mackie Shillstone are longtime co-trainers Nassim Richardson and John David Jackson, as well as head trainer Freddie Roach. I can show him some little tricks here and there and so forth, but he knows most of them. And uh, I'm not going to teach him a lot of new things, but the goal is just to come up with the right game plan to beat Tozaki. I have uh, one goal, and the ultimate goal is to get Bernard to victory. You know, I wouldn't let my ego get in the way of, of what we're trying to achieve here. Does he truly need us to, to train him? No, but I've been training for a long time. He respects our abilities as trainers. I put up a team like any general, like any Fortune 500 company, to now let's go and win with physics and with knowledge. And they bring that to the table. To preserve harmony in camp, the trio of trainers emphasize teamwork and remain mindful of Shillstone and how his fitness program impacts their work inside the ring. For boxing, like, Mackie has to step back and let me do my job. On the running days and conditioning days, I'll step back and let him do his job. We'll work together and, um, you know, there'll be a little friction at first, but we'll, 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 we'll all blend in. Mackie doesn't teach me how to throw a jab. Mackie doesn't teach me how to throw a right hand. Mackie is a master at what he does. And my trainers, Nazim Richardson and Freddie Roach and John David Jackson, um, they fill in the boxing aspects of it. In this fight, those aspects will focus on formulating a game plan to counter Calzaghe, whose two-fisted attack is one of the most relentless in the sport today. You know, Calzaghe, he puts you on the ropes, so throws a lot of punches. Referee Terry O'Connor watching and watching, and he'll stop it right now. So he wins a lot of rounds by just throwing a lot of punches. We need to win the fight in the middle of the ring. I want Bernard to stay in the pocket and fight this guy on the inside and work that body from close range. Yeah. He doesn't do it with pure speed or power. He's somebody who blends it all together. It's really that, that boxing IQ that he has that allows him to adapt and, and eventually overcome his opposition in the ring. A win on April 19th would be the defining moment of Hopkins' brilliant 20-year career. One more instance of overcoming odds. One more night of proving the critics wrong. I was born the underdog. I embraced the underdog. Didn't supposed to be here at 43 years old. Didn't supposed to beat Trinidad. Didn't supposed to beat Tarver. Didn't supposed to beat Joe Gazaki. A world champion in your early 40s. That's extremely rare, but to be a reigning champion and to be considered one of the best champions, one of the top three fighters in the world, that's almost unheard of. He's earned his place as, as one of the greatest fighters of his generation, and he's done it in an uncompromising way, both in and out of the ring. Oh!